Why should I get my money and invest it in the US? Why? That's the question. Brian is here to respond. Second point I want to share with you is that I welcome you to the concept Kickstarter. Thank you. My name is Brian Kayonglo, and I'm a Uganda born, and I thank God for that. Today, before I talk about the real estate, uh, Mr. Zambai wants me to talk about. I want to first share with you the vision of the Kickstarter program. A couple of years ago, uh, this gentleman is not here. It's called Adrian Barak. I would like you to clap for that gentleman, please. That gentleman came looking for me uh, from one of the churches where I go. He met someone from MIT. Someone told him, have you ever met Brian Kayongo? And he said, no. And that gentleman is from Ghana. Told him, please, I would like you to meet this gentleman. So this gentleman, Mr. Adrian, got a chance and came to one of our fellowships where I go, looking for me. But that day he didn't find me. But he found my beautiful wife, Grace. And my beautiful wife introduced me to Adrian. And Adrian is one of my second uh, partner, how we started the concept Kickstarter. So this vision is not built by only me. It's built by the team of so many different people. That's what I want to share with you today. That Pastor Zach has was here sharing. When you have a light upon you and you're building something and you want to see your vision, the vision is not built by only one individual. The vision is built by a lot of partners, a lot of individuals as we are here today. The last conference we had last year in Boston, I shared this and I said, God has still given me the grace to welcome everyone to these conferences. But after the five years, after next year, we are not welcoming everyone. We are welcoming partners. We are welcoming people who are working together with us to build a light to show others what it takes to build this. We are welcoming individuals who are not selfish with what they know. We have a group of people coming from different nations here today. Do you know why they are here today? They are here today because they are not selfish of what they want to share with others. And all of us, as we are here today, I want to share with you a story. Someone shared this example to me in life, and I shared it with a group of people in Boston. It is about a person. All of us here, we are the pencil. We write history of life every day. We define our lives every day. We, we describe our life every day. We do things which will define our lives. We try different things in life. Those which work, those which don't work. But today we are honored that we have a rubber. And what is the rubber? It's the first speaker who was here, Pastor Zach, and the other speakers who are going to be here, and the panelists who are going to be here today. I want to you to take this advantage today. Use the rubber to erase what was the error in your life, so that you can use the pencil again to define your life better. So I add you today, be the pencil. Use the rubber to correct your life. Every day, 
we correct our life. Every day we adjust our lives. Every day we adapt. The vision of Kickstarter is do not procrastinate about life. I don't have the capacity to stand in front of you guys here today, but the only capacity I have is to not procrastinate about life. Is that we organized this with the whole team and we expected these chairs would be full. That is the chance we took on ourselves. Kickstart your life. Begin your idea. Begin your vision. Do not wait for anyone to encourage you. It is you to show up for yourself. It is you to show up for yourself for every opportunity, for every moment of life, for every challenge of life you face. Show up and you learn something from it. My message to you, be the pencil today. As I share more with you, may God bless you. Thank you so much.